Hey, welcome to lesson one of original oratory. So what is original oratory? Well, oratory means speech and original means, you know, original. So an original oratory is a speech that you write, but don't freak out. I'll get you through it. We'll take it one step at a time and you don't need to worry about any step except the one that you're on right now, which is lesson one. I don't want you to think about the next step at all. So put it out of mind and here we go. Remember that we're talking about OSSAA rules, that's Oklahoma Secondary Schools Activities Association. So if you're not in my class, you're from somewhere else, but you compete and you do original oratory, the process is the same, even though the individual rules may be slightly different. If you are from Oklahoma, though, understand that the rules can shift. And so you may want to check the OSSAA website to make sure that the rules you're working with are current. So you can do that by going to OSSAA.com, click non-athletic events, and then click speech and debate, and then you'll find the manual. And it's right there, find OO, and it, it will all be there for your perusal. So let's jump right in. There are a few rules that I want you to be aware of right now. These aren't all the rules, they're just the important rules to know before we get started. Number one, original oratory, or OO, which is how I'll refer to it from now on, is open to any high school student in the state of Oklahoma, so everybody can do OO. Number two, it's a 10 minute event. That means a, a maximum of 10 minutes. There's no minimum time, but I do want us to aim at eight minutes and then we'll go from there. But don't freak out about that. We're not at the step where we write a 10 minute speech yet. We're at step one where you write, a, you write for a little bit on a thing. So we'll get there. The third rule I want you to be aware of is that you can move as much as you want. You don't get props or a chair, but you will have a walking pattern. So you'll stand up and you'll deliver this speech in front of your judges in a standing and walking manner. And number four, the speech has to be memorized. That's not a huge problem because you know, you're writing it. You'll quite kind of memorize it as you go. And then finally, you the most important rule, number five, um, and this isn't in this isn't the same order that's in the book, by the way. It's just the order that came to my head. So my rule number five is just remember that obviously this is original. You can't plagiarize. It needs to be your work, not somebody else's. But again, I'll get you through it. So in real life, there are three basic kinds of speeches. First, there's the speech to entertain. Think about comedians or maybe keynote speakers. There's the speech to inform. Think about like history lectures and things like that. And then speeches to persuade. So those are like political speeches or a sales pitch. The thing about original oratory is they can be any combination of those three, but typically they're a bit of all three. But here's the thing. I don't want you to think about this as a speaking event anyway. I want you to think of it as a storytelling event. The human human brain loves stories. And if at the end of a story you can say, and so the moral is, don't throw carrots at a Sasquatch or whatever, then you have delivered an original oratory. So essentially, I want you to think of this as a story that you're going to tell that sort of has a lesson or a point. The question is, how do you come up with a story? Fortunately, Linda Berry exists. She is a teacher and cartoonist and writer who is phenomenal, and she's gonna take you through a process where you come up with a story. You'll just write a story. I need you to follow her instructions exactly you may not understand exactly why you're doing it, but understand the great thing about learning is you don't have to understand how you're doing it or why you're doing it. Just have some faith in the teacher and it will all come together in the end. So you're going to watch a video of her take you through a process where you generate a story. You're going to generate your own story and then you'll turn it into me. It's due today. It needs to be written in your notebook. Here's the thing. If you're doing this for class, I mean, I don't know why else you would be doing this. Are you, are you at home on YouTube doing this for fun by yourself? That's cool. Probably you're you're in my class though. So if you're in my class, understand that the story you turn in today is for a completion grade, but that's not an automatic 100. You have to do the work. So it's either all or nothing. You either give me your best work or you take the zero. Nobody wants a zero. Don't take a zero on this. Just do the assignment. That's it. Turn it in and I'll see you in the next lesson.